Hey everyone, my name is Chris. I'm a full-time beauty pageant director as my career, but in my spare time, I'm a huge toy collector. I've been collecting toys now for over 40 years. You can officially call me a toyaholic. Thanks so much for checking out my YouTube channel. My channel consists mainly of two things, beauty pageants, which I love, and toys, which I love even more. My dream in life has always been to own a toy museum. So it's finally happened. I've bought a building and now I've got to move this massive collection and value it into the building. We're calling it the Toy Vault because it's an old bank building located in Crystal Springs, Mississippi that actually has two large vaults. So now I'm just gonna make a ton of videos and value my toy collection. And then I'm gonna make some where I take you shopping with me to thrift stores and flea markets and toy stores to let you see where I find all these goodies. So let's start this episode of value in my toy collection and value some toys. All right, in today's video of value in my toy collection, we're gonna tackle one of these shelves of our superhero collection because we have so much stuff. So we're gonna take on the bottom shelf and the stuff that's on the floor so we can kind of get a guess of how much everything's worth, but um, oh, it's gonna be hard, but here we go. Let's just jump right in this Black Adam figure. He is worth about $25. And then we have this Superman toothbrush holder. He's worth about $10. He's vintage from the old Kmart stores. And then we have the, the lotion bottle that goes with it of the Daily Planet worth probably $10. And then the little wall plaque worth $8. And we have all these 12-inch um, figures. I almost said dolls, figures. Batman, he's worth about $15. Spider-Man with a blue shirt, he's worth about $15. The blue Spider-Man, he's worth $15. Actually, all of these are worth $15 each, so I'll just let the video play so you can see them. I got a lot of these on this app called Whatnot, where they have these little online auctions where you can buy things. And I got most of these for $2 each, plus $8 shipping for the whole set. So I got a really good deal on these. Then these smaller action figures of Spider-Man, they're worth about $5 each, so that's another $20 we can add to our total. Then up here we have Aquaman still in his packaging, and he is worth $18. Then we have this little Superman Kleenex box holder, it's worth about $12. And then we have the Shazam popcorn bucket from the movie theater, and it's worth about $16. It's metal. And then from the Shang-Chi franchise, we have the Great Protector Dragon still in the box, and he's worth about $20. Then we have the little plastic Captain America toy. He's probably worth about $5. And then the little squirt gun of the Tick, also worth about $5. And then we have these Fisher-Price Little People superheroes. They're worth about $3 each, so we have five. That's $15. And then this rubber Rocket Man figure, he's worth $11. And then we have a little Batman Hot Wheel car up there. It's worth about $6. And then we have the set of four 1991 Batman Burger King toys. They're worth $16 for the set. All right, we have a lot of stuff to go through here. We have the Imagine It's Joker Battling Robot set. That's worth about $25. And then from Guardians of the Galaxy, we have a cartoon version of a Groot, a basketball hoop worth 15. And then we have seven of these little Imagine Next figures. They're worth about $3 each, probably more than that, but we'll say three. So that'll be $21. How about three little Happy Meal toys coming up? We'll value it about $6. The Black Panther in the car is worth about $8. We have some loose figures. We'll say $10 for all of our loose figures. And the Superman car is worth about $6. Uh, that's a Happy Meal toy. And then we have the little Starfire Mystery from Teen Titans Girl. She's eight. Two-Face is worth five. And Mr. Freeze and Poison Ivy is worth about eight. 
So it just adds up when you add up all these little pieces. The Fisher Price Little People set of six times three dollars would be another eighteen dollars. The little Spider Man car is worth about five dollars. The metal car from Spider Man is worth about eight dollars. And then this Superman car back here, plane, is worth about six dollars. And the Batwing in the box is worth twenty. These figures on the card, Fantastic Four, Invisible Woman, 16, The Falcon, 16, and Elektra, $16. Oh, the Marvel figure is worth about $10, and Wolverine's worth about $15, and the Supergirl plush is worth about $12. Bunch of loose action figures. These are very collectible. Superman's worth about $10, Wonder Woman Bendable's worth about $10. The two Spider-Mans are worth about $4 each. Captain America's worth about eight, and that other Superman's worth about 10. All right, these first three figures are worth about $4 each, and that big Superman's worth about $12. We have these bendable flex dream figures. The Flash is worth about 17, and Batman's worth about 14. Robin's worth about 14, and the Joker down at the end is worth about 16. And then this Mr. Fantastic figure still on the card is worth $16. And this Superman Hero Cross Justice League figure is worth about $12. Just need to take that dried up silly string off of it. This Incredible Hulk Scaler figure is worth $12. And our plush Batman bank is worth $15. This Batman figure is worth about $8. Maybe a little bit more, but we'll say $8. And then the Spider-Man figure, we'll say probably about eight. He could be worth more than that too. I just don't like to overvalue. Our Incredible Hulk figure here, he's worth about $15. This red 11 inch Power Rangers figure is worth about $16. Our Wakanda Forever plush is worth about $16. She'll probably become more valuable as time goes on though. She's really large. And then we have a Spidey plush, he's worth about $6. Have a real nice group plush, he's worth about $15. And then we have a black and white Superman plush worth about $13. And then we have these really cool superhero figures. The Superman loose is worth about $25. These are starting to get some age on them. The Hulk girl, she's worth about $15 loose. And then Batman, he's worth about $20 loose. I like the shape of their faces, that real sharp feature. And then the Green Lantern, he's worth about $15 loose. Then we have another Spidey plush, he's worth about $6. Then the Chunky Batmobile kids toy is worth about $12. And the little thing, Happy Meal toy is worth about $3. Then we have the little Spider-Man fan. He's worth about $5. And then this little projector keychain of Spider-Man is worth about $8. Plastic Iron Man like Easter eggs for Easter baskets is worth about $5. Then we have some Pop Taters. This is Star-Lord from Guardian of the Galaxy. He's worth about $28. And then Black Widow, she's worth about $22. I need to take those stickers off. Oh, that's gonna be a job, taking all those stickers off one day. And then Vision, he's worth about $26. Then we have Marvel's Mysterio Spider-Man figure. He's worth about $13 still in the package. And then these were probably done for Christmas. They're little shave kits. This is Justice League. It's worth about $15. And then we have the Batman shave kit set and it's worth about $15 as well. So we have these superheroes still in the box. Superman's worth about $35. And you see when I bought them back in the day, they were $9 each at Big Lot. Batman, he's worth about $35. And then we have the Martian Manhunter. He's worth $40. Then we have the Atom. He's worth $50. Sometimes those weird ones are the ones that are worth more because nobody bought them. And then we have the green arrow, if I can get him out. He's worth about $45. See, I paid $9. And then we have Aquaman. He's worth $36. I don't know why Aquaman's my favorite superhero. And then we have Lady Hawk. She's worth about $55 in the box. She's pretty valuable. 
Then in the very back, we have the Green Lantern in the box. He's 30. And then the Flash in the yellow outfit, he's worth $50. All right, next up we have a Hallmark Pop Batman ornament worth $15. And then the Rock Candy Captain Marvel worth $15 as well. And then we have some of these new Batman figures. This is the Wingsuit Batman worth $12. Selena Kyle's worth $12. And then the Penguin's worth $12. These were just out at Walmart a couple years ago and they went on clearance for almost nothing. Then we have a Funko Mr. Freeze figure. He's worth $20 have a Justice League Aquaman Swing Sword set that's worth about $14. And then we have this whole box of X-Men Blind Box Vinyl Bobbleheads. I got these at five below. They've already increased to be $11 each. So I have 12, that's $132, plus $10 for the display box makes that worth $142. All right, then we have an 11 inch Black Widow figure. She's worth about $15. And then we have this Superman Power Poppers. It's worth about $15. And then we have that Selena Kyle 11 inch figure. She's worth $14. And we have this Sonic Zoom Superman still in the box and he's worth $30. And then from the Titan series, we have the Armored Spider-Man in the box, and he is worth $18. Have a little Entertainment Earth catalog. I saved it because it had so many cool figures in it, probably worth $2. Then we have this 11-inch Electro figure who's worth $17. And then we have a She-Hulk Hot Wheels car. That's worth about $12 still on the card. And then we have a four-pack of Extreme Flex figures worth about $20. Next up, we have an Aquaman book. It's only worth about $4, but it's a pretty cool book. And then we have the Black Adam 11-inch figure. He's worth about $15 still in the box. And then I did get the whole set of those. I had to get some of them off eBay. They didn't have them in our local Walmart. Cyclone, she's worth about $15. I think I paid more than that for her. And then Dr. Fate, he's worth about $25. And the Atom Smasher, he's worth about $23. And then Hawkman, it's worth about $20. All right, this 11-inch Superman still in the package is worth about $23. And then the Cyborg in the package is worth about $15. And then I'm not familiar with this one, but it's an Earth-23 Superman. He's worth $35. I probably got him on clearance somewhere since I'm not familiar with him. I probably didn't pay much at all for him. This Joker 11-inch figure still in the package is worth about $20. And this Mighty Thor Love and Thunder figure is worth about $12 still in the box. And then we have the Thor Love and Thunder figure in the box, and he's worth about $17. And then from the Suicide Squad, we have Deadshot, who is played by Will Smith in the box. He's worth about $30. For those of you that still like Will Smith. And then let's see who else we have. We have Lex Luthor in the multiverse box. He's worth about $20. Need to take that sticker off. And then we have the Legend series Groot in the box. He's worth about $20. And then this one surprised me. The Spider-Man Legend in the box. He's worth $85. And I just had him hidden in the back row somewhere. I didn't even know. Then I have a couple boxes of these fidget cubes. I must have got these like really cheap to have so many, probably like a dollar, but they're worth like $8 each now. And I have 10 of these. So that's $80 plus let's say $5 each for the box. Another $10 for the two store display boxes. Always got to pick up those clearance deals when you see them. All right, then we have some more loose figures. We have this big Superman figure. He's worth at least $15. And then we have a smaller Superman figure. He's probably worth about $10, being that he's smaller. Then we have this Hawkeye figure. He is worth about $17. All right, then we have this cute little bubble bath set of Superman and Lex Luthor worth about $12. 
And then we have a little Spider-Man figure holding up some kind of web staff or something worth about $6. And then another Superman tall figure worth about $15. And then we have a smaller little action figure back here of Superman. He's worth about $6. And we got a little Happy Meal toy here, probably worth $2, Green Lantern. Then we have this big thing action figure. He's actually worth about $35. Then we have another Superman figure hiding back here. He's worth about $15. And then this little spider, Spider-Man head. I don't know what it does. It's worth about $8. And we won't even value that. I don't know what it is. And then we have a Shang Chi action figure still in the, the box. It's worth about $15. And then another figure the Wenwu figure, I think he's the bad guy. He's worth about $15. And then we have, who is this? This Chang Chai Marvel's Katie figure. She's worth about $20. I need to watch that movie again. I can't remember all of them. Here we have a Wonder Woman cool figure in the box. She's worth $40. And then next up we have this 12 inch invisible woman figure from Fantastic Four and she's worth about $40. And then we have some more of the 11 or 12 inch figures. Uh, all of these are worth $15 each. We have Thor. I can't even remember where I get all of these. And then I think from Avengers, it's Hulk in a, a uniform. He's worth 15. Iron Man, he's worth 15. Like I said, all of them are 15. For some reason, this Hulk was worth $20 instead of $15. I don't know why, but we'll take the extra $5. And then from the Mighty Legend series, we have the Executioner and Enchantress figures for $15 still in the box. And then we have the Green Lantern as Hal Jordan, He's worth $30 still in the box. And then we have this Batman Rogues nesting doll set. It's worth $40. And then we have the Mr. Fantastic Super Stretch doll. He's worth $45. He's having a little sagging problem, but I looked online and they're all sagging and they're still worth $45. We have this large Iron Man figure. He's worth $20. This one was a surprise to me. It's a Wonder Woman Big Fig doll, and she's worth $100. I think I paid like $20 for her. I got a good deal on her. Then we have some more little figures. Spider-Man's worth about $4. Batman's worth about $5. Two-Face is worth about $5. This Batman's worth about $4. Little Aquaman back here is worth about $4. And then the other Spider-Man back here is worth about $4. And then this 11-inch Star-Lord figure, he's worth about $12. And then the black and white 11-inch Spider-Girl figure, she's worth about $17. I have these little Wonder Woman Barbie doll outfits, and they're worth $10 each. And I have four of those, so that's $40. I actually do have four. One of them's just buried. Now these little dolls are unique looking. I thought they would be worth a lot, but Supergirl is only worth about $10. And then Wonder Woman, she's worth about $10. It's just really different looking. I think they're really cute, but they're just not valuable yet. Maybe one day. And then we have Catwoman, she's worth about $14. And we have Batgirl, she's worth about $12. And this little Small Stars Batman plush is worth about $10. I don't know what that is. We'll just keep it. Now we have a little Batman plane Hot Wheels car worth $6. Let's see what else we can get. We have this big Mr. Fantastic stretch figure. He's worth $20. And we have this little Batman remote control car. It's worth about $15. The Legends Mighty Thor figure. He's worth $25. Or she. I think that's the girl one. And then we have the Thor figure, he's worth $35. Then we have this cool vintage box I picked up somewhere. It's a superhero box. 
And actually, when I opened it, it had characters in it. When I added up the bots and the characters, it's all worth about $77. Then I have this blue and silver armor Batman. He's worth about $25. Then we have some large figures in the back. Joker's worth $25 and Spider-Man's worth $30. And then this really large green lantern figure, he's also worth $30. Then I have this Jumbo Iron Man in a suit of armor that's worth $40. I have these little Wonder Woman party decorations that are worth about $5. There's that missing Wonder Woman outfit. I knew I had four of those. Got this little bag set. It's probably just worth $2. Then we have this little Spider-Man Sun Catcher set. It's worth about $10. We have this cool Groot wall art that's like a hologram. It's worth $15. I'm gonna have the coolest walls in the toy museum. I have this Jumbo Power Ranger figure and he is worth $75. So with our previous 145 videos we've made for value in my toy collection, our total is $431,367. So after adding all of our superhero stuff just on our bottom shelf, that total was $3,647. So our grand total for episode 146 is $435,014. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm off to make some more videos.